A couple of miners wander a dark hole, but as they dig deeper, they discover something that should have been left buried and undisturbed. On May 5, 1957, miners Churchill, Bill, and Todd decide to dig through a deep hole on the wall which opens to a cave. Inside, they make fun of Churchill's expensive camera, who is hesitant to go further. However, Bill says they might discover something valuable and tells them to keep quiet. Suddenly, Churchill hears voices call him from a tunnel and finds a giant tentacle. He captures it with his camera, causing it to retreat. Meanwhile, Bill touches a slime-layered wall when Todd hears slithering noises from the corner. Cautiously, Todd approaches it with his pickaxe and finds a wall filled with unknown creatures crawling on it. He looks at one of them in its eyes which splashes hot black goo and burns his face. Hearing his friend scream, Bill runs to Todd, seeing his flesh burning so he leaves him behind. He pushes Churchill to exit the hole as everything collapses. Just as Bill has his body halfway out, a tentacle latches onto his leg, pulling and breaking it, while Churchill tries to save him. At the last moment, Bill grabs hold of his friend's camera and accidentally clicks on it before completely disappearing in the hole. Churchill hears the voices call him again, but he hurriedly lights a dynamite and throws it in the hole where it explodes. In the present, a woman pole dancing grabs the attention of a man snorting substances. He slips in cash to her and asks if she can do more than dancing, to which she says she has one question before doing it. Suddenly, a cameraman appears and hands the woman a microphone. She asks him for comments on the allegations on the use of narcotics and solicitation of sexual work that has dominated during his term as mayor. In the news, the dancing woman, Hunter Hazelton, an undercover reporter, exposes the mayor of his crimes while he gets escorted away. Following her coverage, Hazelton gets nominated for Most Impactful News Story and News Person of the Year awards. In celebration of the reporter's nomination, Hunter's colleague, Annie, rants to her boyfriend, Declan, about her tabloid journalism and says that she defiles their company. Her boyfriend doesn't share the same sentiments and tells her to act nice when the nominee approaches them. Declan congratulates Hunter for her viral coverage on the mayor's scandal. Proudly, she reveals they have footage to which the district attorney opens for an investigation. In front of his date, Declan recalls his night with Hunter in Vegas, since they used to be partners at work and in bed, but Hunter claims they didn't make a good team. Jealous, Annie advises that she shouldn't expose herself with her get-up dancing to be a real reporter, whereas Hunter imagines punching her on the throat. While Hunter tries to hold back, she says that her colleague's type of feminism is inapplicable to all women and threatens Annie to shut up. Hunter's gritty remarks amuses Declan, which angers his girlfriend who storms off. Afterward, Hunter spots her father and sister, Haley. Hunter tells them that her coverage tops the week's news, which renewed her contract. However, she notices that her father disapproves of her televised scoop but assures them that he's proud. He asks Hunter to cover more skin while doing her undercover work, and Haley hugs her in comfort. Later, Cam, the cameraman, hands Hunter champagne and praises her work. He notices his friend feeling down despite her achievements, and tells him she feels indifferent even after getting the recognition she deserves. Cam jokes to blame it on her white privilege, and tells her not to mind what anybody says, reminding her that she's a good reporter before leaving. Meanwhile, inside a cabin, Churchill, who is now much older, prepares his bag and feeds his dog before leaving. An old news clipping on the death of two miners is pinned on his wall. In Hunter's apartment, the reporter oversleeps beside a guy named Frank when Cam knocks on her door. The cameraman awkwardly strikes conversation with his friend's fling while she hurriedly dresses up. For their new coverage, Cam tells her that a trilateral partnership on a new mining technology will hold an exclusive launch that day. At the launch, Annie passes by Declan, whom she breaks up with after embarrassing her at the party. Then, Annie finds her nemesis' exclusive pass and throws it in the bin. Meanwhile, Churchill, now a retired miner, claims to visit the site to which his former associate allows without question. Arriving at the venue, Hunter finds her pass missing and is reminded that the event is restricted. The reporter doesn't contest, but instead thinks of another way in. Suddenly, she grabs the coffee on the table and spills it to her cameraman. So she asks the staff for a change room and points them downstairs. While Hunter walks down the hall, she enters the men's changing room where she searches the lockers for a pass. Carrie, a miner who just finished washing up, gets surprised upon seeing her in the room. Shamelessly, Hunter introduces herself to the stranger and asks for his help. Although confused, Carrie doesn't say no to the gorgeous woman's favor. At the mining field, Annie interviews Russian engineer Dr. Nikolai, who's about to reveal a technological breakthrough on live television. Meanwhile, Hunter thanks Carrie for showing her a way in. As she goes ahead, Carrie contemplates parting ways with a gorgeous reporter and decides to follow her. Shortly after, Hunter and Cam reach the site just in time where the demonstration begins. Dr. Nikolai explains that the machine harbors energy from the air to generate a laser. This can cut through the hardest surfaces which will be the future of mining. With the new technology, Carrie worries about losing his job because the machine does all their work. While the machine prepares, Churchill suddenly steps in front with a gun and tells them to turn the machine off. With the cameras rolling, a hostage situation is reported live on television. 
Kennedy, the operator, looks at the engineer who allows to shut it down. Carrie tries to stop the retired miner but is told to step back. Churchill angrily points at the company director who did not listen to his warnings. The old miner reveals they've discovered something evil deep underground, which killed his friends. He threatens that they will unleash the devil if they continue digging on that side of the mine. Hunter cautiously asks him to tell them what he saw, but Churchill doesn't know what took his friends. Carrie eyes this distraction to disable the old man who immediately notices. Frustrated, Churchill reveals how serious he is by showing them the explosives he attached himself into. Meanwhile, Haley drives to her dad's and turns on the news which reports the hostage situation where her sister is at. Back in the mine, a loud, disgruntled voice calls for Churchill. Suddenly, a mysterious creature pulls a cameraman down so the men try helping him out. Unfortunately, they fail when the creature takes him in the hole. Then, mysterious creatures start crawling behind Churchill when large tentacles grab him. He takes this opportunity to activate his explosives, which blow up the cave. After the explosion, Hunter watches in horror as the catastrophe unfolds. Then, Carrie gets her out of the commotion and the machine gets destroyed by the fire. Outside, Haley cries while watching the mine explode, but her father assures Hunter will be alright. In the mine, Hunter grabs a nearby shovel when she hears a distorted sound. She almost hits Carrie, who is looking for survivors, but finds Churchill's bag instead. Inside is a flashlight and a gun which Hunter takes. The reporter sincerely thanks the miner for saving her from the chaos. He misunderstands the mood and leans for a kiss but Hunter stops him. Moving forward, Hunter is determined to look for other survivors and avoid the monster. Meanwhile, an injured Dr. Nikolai gets carried by Cam and Declan and lays him down to rest. Traumatized, Annie recalls how Churchill exploded the mine who Declan calls deranged, while Cam defends the old man for protecting them from the giant octopus. However, the exes deny this and try to convince themselves of a logical reasoning behind the incident. Frustrated, Cam is firm about the monster who took the other cameraman no matter how absurd it sounds. Meanwhile, Dr. Nikolai's condition becomes worse, and Annie wonders if anyone knows about other survivors, but there was too much chaos to know for sure. Hopeful, Cam tells them that they can survive if they stay calm since they have two scientists with them. But then, Kennedy announces that Dr. Nikolai has died, leaving them with only one. On the other side, Hunter tries to know more about Carrie, who reveals to be a former star quarterback until he suffered a knee injury. Now divorced, he minds to survive and support his daughter. Shortly after, they find a doorway which leads to an obstacle of lava. Hunter sees a ledge and slowly crosses it and Carrie follows her lead. Then, Hunter slips and falls but Carrie quickly catches her hand on time. The reporter tells him to swing her across with the little strength he has left. Concurrently, Kennedy covers Nikolai with her coat while Cam assures her they'll go back for him, which Declan finds impossible. The reporter says the roof will collapse and bury them while it makes headlines, then argues with Cam about how network ratings remain indifferent to chaos. Anxious, Declan bets that the network feasts on the dead Russian communist to which Cam acts to punch him. Declan hides behind Annie while he explains that stress makes him lose control over his words. He calls the cameraman by his ethnicity, proving his words true, and Annie attests that her ex is clinically diagnosed as stupid. Declan confirms and takes his medicine while Cam walks away. At the lava obstacle, Hunter makes it across with Carrie's help. She pushes him off her as she feels hot and takes off her burning shoe. Looking around, they find an altar and ancient carvings on the wall. Carrie claims he recognizes the figures and compares it with his daughter's emojis. Hunter interprets the hieroglyphics and says that people bring sacrifices to the monster to survive. Moreover, she notices eight apprentices which surround the monster. Then, they notice a chained skeleton behind them, whom Hunter says is a virgin sacrifice who evolves after the ritual. At the other side of the mine, Cam and this group reach the burning site where boulders block their exit. Declan impatiently argues with Annie while they blame each other for their situation. At the same time, Cam asks Kennedy if she can fix the machine to which she says no. Nevertheless, the scientist suggests building something new. Cam optimistically informs the reporters of their plan and instructs Annie to stay with Kennedy while he and Declan search for survivors. Declan complains but pretends to be mournful when Cam looks at him disapprovingly. Cam agrees that Kennedy's plan might fail, but persuades Declan by calling themselves heroes where the reporter imagines his name in lights. Afterwards, Annie exclaims that she finds her earring among the rubble. At the altar, Hunter takes a video of the ancient carvings on the wall. Carrie then points out her recklessness which might have caused her death, but Hunter stays firm. Sarcastically, she calls him her hero which irks Carrie. He is about to argue with her when a disgruntled voice shakes the cave. The others feel it too, so Annie asks the scientist to hurry. Seconds later, the shaking stops and Hunter and Carrie see a skull roll down. Suddenly, Hunter sees a zombie approach and alerts her partner. It swings its pickaxe but Carrie dodges while Hunter shoots it with her gun. Emptying the magazine, the zombie falls, and Hunter asks Carrie to help investigate the body. They hear a hiss from beneath its shirt which makes them stop. Then, Carrie recognizes the zombie as Bill, Churchill's dead friend, and shows Hunter a photo from the old miner's bag. They realize that the creature is manipulating the dead body to attack them. 
Meanwhile, Cam picks up Kennedy's coat from the ground where they left Dr. Nikolai. Suddenly, they see the dead scientist ahead so the pair follows him despite Declan's complaints. Back at the altar, Hunter records herself reporting their discovery on her phone. Suddenly, the zombie gets up and throws her to the ground. Carrie tries to help her but Bill strangles him. Luckily, Hunter recovers and hits him with his pickaxe, making him lose his grip and leave. Hunter runs after it while Carrie reaches out to stop her. She tells him that chasing after risks is her long-awaited adventure. Despite his fears, Carrie follows the brave woman. Inside the monster's hive, Cam and Declan hear slithering noises and the small creature jumps at them. Cam ducks on time so it lands on Declan who screams while they try to get it off him. Unfortunately, it has already attached itself on his back. Suddenly, Cam sees Dr. Nikolai, so he tells Declan that they should leave immediately. However, Declan begins acting the same as the zombie and falls into a trance and his eyes turn white. Cam backs away from him and tries to snap Declan off it, but to no avail. Instead, he skillfully tries to fight but soon gets outnumbered. Elsewhere, Hunter and Carrie reach a river where a knight lies impaled with its sword. The pair believes the river will lead them outside, so Carrie plunges into the water to check. Worried, Hunter kisses his forehead and bids him good luck. While the reporter awaits Carrie's return, the knight moves. At the rubble, Kennedy explains to Annie that she made an energy bomb, which harnesses enough energy to explode once activated and pave them a way out. Then, a bleeding Cam and Declan blankly return with the mysterious creatures as the women scream. By the river, Carrie sees that Hunter is nowhere and only finds the sword on the ground. Concurrently, the knight lays Hunter on top of the altar. The zombified group ties her while Hunter asks Cam for help who doesn't respond. Then she asks Annie for help, who pretends to be a zombie and selfishly leaves her to be sacrificed. Suddenly, giant tentacles latch onto Hunter and infiltrate her mind. Inside her mind, Hunter bathes in blood while an enchanting voice shows her the past. Inside her mind, she sees herself chained and worshipped. Then, a knight approaches and holds his head in his hands in pain. When the woman asks to sacrifice himself, he resists and kills her instead. Still in her mind, Hunter wakes from a bloodbath and is face to face with the octopus woman. Hunter hears voices who ask her for help to conquer the world to which she declines. Then, the voices use a memory of her father to persuade her. However, Hunter resists and finally wakes up, while Carrie slashes the ropes that binds her. Afterward, the two crawl toward the river and the octopus unexpectedly gets Carrie, so he tells Hunter to escape as it takes him. Determined, Hunter prepares and runs back to the altar where she slashes Bill's legs to disable him. Then, Hunter meets Cam who tries to kill her. She manages to grab a skull and hits Cam, making him come back to his senses. Relieved, Hunter detaches the creature from his back and kills it. She tends to a dying Cam who tells her about Kennedy's bomb which is left at the site. He urges her to finish the monster and she stabs her friend to end his misery. Outside, Mr. Hazelton angrily dismisses the media who assumes his daughter's death. He assures that she will fight her way out, so with a tense situation, the network turns to talk to the Russian scientist's family. Back in the mine, Hunter fights the knight when half-bodied Bill holds her down. Luckily, Hunter escapes the zombie's grip where the knight accidentally beheads him. Like her vision, the knight raises his sword at Hunter. She lifts herself with the chains and skillfully kicks his iron head and kills the disorientated knight. Shortly after, while Hunter looks for Carrie, she runs into her nemesis who begs her for help. She lets Annie come with her until Annie suddenly hits Hunter unconscious and brings her to the monster. Inside a cave, Hunter reunites with Carrie while Annie introduces them as sacrifices. She claims to have been chosen as an emissary and wears the pendant on her forehead. Courageously, Hunter threatens to activate the energy bomb in exchange of their freedom. Her plan successfully frightens the monster which grabs Annie instead. Seeing her nemesis miserable, Hunter activates the bomb and throws it before leaving. The bomb begins to count down and Annie gets torn apart before it explodes. The survivors swim by the river just as the mine buries the ancient monster once more. They come ashore by a waterfall and celebrate their escape from a near-death adventure with a kiss. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.